It's time for a life-changing experience. Okay. Can I see your, your cell phone? It's, oh it's under there. It's, it's under the It's anxiety thing. already. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right yeah. there yep. is where you keep it from now on. Yep, yep. And I have changed your life for the better. Really? I really have. Yeah. We <laughs> are more addicted. I know. I know. It's, we can't help you out. We got to see where this is going. We're more addicted than ever to our smartphones. And uh, sure enough, it's having an impact on our lives. For example, the exposure to electromagnetic frequencies, it is impacting our health and well-being in a very bad way, according to health website Mercola.com. Researchers at Kent State University in Ohio found that frequent cell phone use appears to be associated with academic performance anxiety, and unhappiness in college students, which results in lower grades. Good thing I'm not in college. <laughs> the well, higher the use, the more the anxi anxiety for people. Oh. Okay, that's a time management issue. The right. more you're on your phone, the less you're, the studying, less you're studying for the exam. Right. But also, higher cell phone use is linked <laughs> to reduced physical activity and fitness. I, I exercise, thank you. And in Florida, people who live there are frequently warned about the potential risk of cancer related to cell phone radiation. A resolution was passed after a local attorney had a cancerous tumor above his left ear removed in August of oh, 2011. My goodness. A year after he had another tumor removed from his left hand, this was an attorney who was using his cell phone for hours every day. There is concern over the impact on children. In Russia, officials have issued the recommendation that all kids under age 18 should avoid using cell phones entirely. And in Belgium, they don't allow cell phones to be sold to children under the age of seven. Those regulations go into effect of March of 2014. So, Overall, there's just a massive crackdown on cell phone use in uh, some countries, and I know right. you're anxious right now yeah. not having it. Yep, yep. Right? Moderation, right? I'm not addicted. I just enjoy but, using it. But Jeff, let's think about this for a second. The, the world uses cell phones, so if you yeah. only have a few isolated cases here or there, it just seems to me like we this is something everyone should look into, but right. if we had tons of people that had tumors behind their Heard ear. Heard the same thing about microwave ovens. This is true, too. So. Try taking a break from your cell phones and let me know how you feel a week from now. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay? I just don't understand if that's necessary. Well, let me know how you feel about, about this next thing. This has okay. to do with some technology. Right, Imagine a paper airplane that actually flies. Thank you. It continues <laughs> flying. This guy invented it. It's so cool. Take a look. Let's see it. People find it hard to believe you can make actually a paper airplane fly, you know, soar, not just glide down. That's called the Power Up 3.0, has a range of 180 feet. It's controlled by an app on your phone. It's 30 bucks on Kickstarter.com. How about that for a present, Rob? Love and it. And we want to thank you for joining us. We'll see you here on Midday. Awesome.